Hello, Julia. Thursday morning. This is the entirety of your intentional twits outline to listen to on the drive. Intentional torts. The five trespass torts. Transferred intent. Same person, different tort. Different person, same tort. Different tort, different person. Remember that last one. Intent is desire or substantial certainty. Elements of battery. An act with an intent to cause a contact with a person which is harmful or offensive, or with the intent to cause the imminent apprehension of such contact, causing a harmful or offensive contact with the person. An act is an assertion of will manifested in the external world. Offensive touching and battery is offensive as if a reasonable person's sense of dignity would be offended. Mental illness does not exculpate. Known hypersensitivity. If the plaintiff uh, if the defendant, uh, if the plaintiff has a known hypersensitivity and they have a reaction beyond that of a reasonable person, if the defendant is engaging after knowing of this history, the judge and jury could find them guilty. Then call plaintiff rule. The defendant takes the plaintiff as they find them. Just because their injury was more than a normal person's would be does not mean they have to pay less in damages or are liable for less damages. An assault. An overt act with the intent to cause a contact with a person which is harmful or offensive, or with the intent to cause the imminent apprehension of such contact, causing a reasonable imminent apprehension of such contact. Causation, causing, but for injury occurred, etc. Is it proximate? Is it foreseeable? Causation, but for, foreseeable. Foreseeable makes it proximate. The majority for assault. Apprehension must be reasonable or you know recovery versus the restatement second. Even unreasonable apprehension is sufficient. The claim is satisfied in terms of damages for one or the other. So there's, you can go after both, but you're only going to get damages for one. False imprisonment. An act with the intent to confine within boundaries, causing the confinement of plaintiff within boundaries. Plaintiff's awareness of the confinement or plaintiff's harm from such confinement. Restatement. There are four types of confinement. Physical barriers, force or threats of force against person or members of immediate family, threat to property, or asserted legal authority. Also, a breach of a duty to enable the plaintiff to leave. Confinement a la Whitaker, no boat provided. If there is a reasonable means of escape, no false imprisonment, but the plaintiff must reasonably know such exit exists. Persuasion or mental persuasion, not enough for false imprisonment. A threat to property can be enough. If plaintiff is engaged in an unreasonable escape attempt, he cannot recover for injuries sustained. Can recover for a reasonable escape attempt. Trespass to land. An act, meaning any volitional movement, can be failure to move after consent expires with the intent to enter or remain on land, causing... Proximate causation. Is it far, fair to impose liability this far removed? The entry or remaining on land in which the person has a possessory interest by the defendant, a third person, or a thing. Trespass is intentional, even if defendant thinks it's his own. Mistake regarding ownership is not a defense. The majority approach is that the property is the immediate reaches of property. Trespass to land involves interference with exclusive possession of real property exclusive. Private nuisance, on the other hand, involves intrusion on use and enjoyment of real property, playing loud music, but not trespass property. Real property is land or attached to land. Trespass to chattels. An act with the intent to affect a chattel, causing damages to a chattel in which the plaintiff has a possessor interest or a loss of its use for substantial time, or injury to plaintiff or person or thing in which plaintiff has a legally protected interest. We're going to do that one one more time. An act with the intent to affect a chattel, causing damages to a chattel in which the plaintiff has a possessor interest, or a loss of its use for a substantial time, or injury to the plaintiff or a person or thing in which plaintiff has a legally protected interest. Cannot recover if the damage from a dog was occasioned to the plaintiff while in the commission of a trespass or another tort. Can be that damage to the value of a chattel, i.e. computer servers. Conversion. Conversion. These are not trespass towards. Intent does not transfer. 
if you need intent to transfer for conversion, just use trespass to travels. Conversion, an act. Failure to return counts as an act. With the intent to exercise dominion or control over a chattel, causing an interference with the right of the plaintiff to control the chattel, and the interference is so serious that the defendant may be justly required to pay the plaintiff the full value of the chattel. The factors in determining the seriousness of the interference. One, the defendant's exercise and dominion of control for a substantial period of time, substantial harm done to the chattel, substantial inconvenience and expense caused to the plaintiff, the defendant's intent to assert a right the defendant knows is inconsistent with plaintiff's right of control. Stolen chattels. If a chattel is stolen and bought in good faith, still liable to conversion from the innocent owner, innocent conversion. When chattel is stolen, the title, rightful ownership, has not been transferred. Fraudulently obtained or purchased chattels. Enter contract through fraudulent endorsement, never intend to fulfill your part of the contract, voidable contract that is not voided until they void it. Cannot sue if someone buys from fraudulent person because the title transfers. Only the thief is sued unless contract is already voided. The minority says it's just the market value at the time of the trial. The majority is the highest value of the chattel between the time of conversion and a reasonable time for making a replacement. If you wait 25 years and the car goes up way in value, not going to work for the majority. Intentional infliction of emotional distress. An extreme and outrageous act intentionally or recklessly. The restatement which California follows, causing severe emotional distress. Under the restatement second, bystander can recover if defendant knows of bystander's presence and the conduct was directed at a member of bystander's immediate family or bystander suffers bodily harm as a result of his or her distress. Recklessly allowed under restatement, this is a deliberate disregard of a high degree of probability that severe distress will follow, as opposed to the typical intentionally, which is desire or substantial certainty have to prove both that the plaintiff was severely distressed and that it would distress a reasonable person both objective and subjective privileges affirmative defenses you will not win on the prima facie elements if there's an affirmative defense consent Express consent is, it is what it is. Implied consent. Can prove that conduct reasonably implied consent, a la O'Brien vaccine. What a reasonable person would consider consent under the circumstances or a history of consensual behavior, but can exceed the scope of this consent. Consent to fights. Some states, plaintiffs can still recover if consented to fight. Consent is rendered invalid. Some states, plaintiff cannot recover. Consent is valid. Consent to illegal activities depends on the state. Scope of consent for sport games. Unlawful touching without batteries consent a la more scope of consent. Children can consent based on child's age, child's intelligence, child's experience. Consent obtained by duress is not consent a la coerced consent. You have the capacity for consent. You have to have the capacity for consent for it to be valid binding. There is a subsection of implied consent, emergency medical privilege. Medical providers may act in the absence of express consent if one, the patient is unable to give consent. Two, there is a risk of serious bodily harm if treatment is delayed. Three, a reasonable person would consent to treatment under the circumstances. And four, the physician has no reason to believe this patient would refuse treatment under the circumstances. Self-defense. Any person may use reasonable force to defend herself or himself against an immediate threatened battery on the part of another. Is retreat required if safe? Majority do not have to retreat, even if safely could do, do so. Minority do have to retreat if could safely do so. Not self-defense if it's done with intentional harms to another, like a human shield situation. Defense of others. General rule. One may use force to defend others to the same extent that one may use force to defend oneself. Mistake regarding necessity of others. One approach, stand in his shoes jurisdictions. Defendant is only privileged to use the force that the person being defended would be privileged to use. Alternative approach, defendant may use reasonable defense of others even if mistaken as to necessity, providing the mistake was reasonable. Defense of property. One may use reasonable force to defend property, but cannot use deadly force or force intended to cause great bodily injury when defense of property alone is at stake. Some jurisdictions allow if there is a sign warning of danger, but most will not. Privilege to use reasonable force to prevent a crime and more force to prevent a felony. Recovery of property. 
You can use some force, not force intended to cause great death or bodily injury, death or great bodily injury, but you need fresh pursuit. What counts as fresh pursuit is up to the jury. Statutes have been passed to privilege merchants to detain for a reasonable investigation a person who he reasonable thinks has unlawfully taken a chattel. Re-entry upon real property cannot use any force and need to contact the authorities. Public necessity. A person has a complete privilege to interfere with property rights if she reasonably believes that it is necessary to avert a public disaster. Private necessity. A person has a privilege to interfere with property rights if he reasonably believes that it is necessary to prevent serious injury to a small number of persons or property, but the person must compensate for any damages caused. Damages. Commensatory are special and general. Special is for paying back like medical bills and general is just pain and suffering. Punitive, to punish. Nominal, big in trespass cases because it affirms and confirms ownership. Renting counts as a possessory interest. Possession does not equal ownership. Satisfaction doctrine, mix torts until you are made whole. If there is a mention of statutes, liable, this is under consent. Liable of person was the one whose statute was meant to protect. Consent will not exculpate. Illegal abortion, statutory rape. Good luck.